Got some dumpster dive action for you. Before I started this video, I found a little pair of Wranglers. And this is a like a military garment bag. It's got someone's army uniform in there. Uh, I don't know if collectors want stuff like that or not. And then a uh, big chunky cords. All their uh, badges and pins and stuff. Actually, and those are still in the packages. So this might have been not a military person, maybe. I'm not sure how all that works, but... Anyways, I know it's not cool for people to wear uniforms when they're not actually in the surf. Unfortunately, my battery died there. And it started raining. Actually, as soon as my battery died, it started raining real hard. It has been doing a lot of raining this year here. And it's still spitting on me right now a little bit. So the, I was going through that college campus, uh, off-campus apartment area. And I was starting to run into some really nice stuff. You saw me pull up on this thing. I took one little peek inside of it after the battery died. And uh, there's something really nice in here. I didn't go through it because I wanted to save it for video. But... Uh, in that dumpster where the battery died all this stuff was in there and uh, unfortunately like i said it started raining hard so i may go back down there tonight and finish this video off for you let me show you what i was talking about here there's a uniform in here i don't know i'll probably put this in a free tail store i don't know if uh, i mean i'm not gonna sell something like this but maybe a collector wants it or something i guess if I can find out, figure out how to open it. <laughs> there we go. It's their dress. It's a dress uniform. I don't know why someone would throw this away. I don't want to. I don't want to show their name. Again. That's a nice uniform, though. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think about that kind of stuff. I was tempted just to leave it there, but. Anyways, that's it. I mean, I don't know if it's disrespectful to take that or not, but I know it's disrespectful for people to wear them or stuff. But uh, that's a nice little t-shirt for me. Okay, this is what was in that dumpster when my battery died. Some nice uh, swimming trunks, t-shirt. It started raining hard. I think I trashed that textbook. But, uh, see if that'll dry out, see what that looks like. And then I... There's some of these little storage deals in there. Those little plastic units. And I dumped it all into one shelf while it was raining, so it's kind of soggy looking. I just went through it fast. But little knife and stuff. A bunch of Ethernet cores and a Zippo lighter. Look at that brand new Zippo lighter. DVDs got rained on. The rain is the enemy when you're out there trying to do stuff like this. Nice little calculator. Let me sit down. Oh. Nice little calculator. I haven't looked at any of this. Like I said, I wanted to save it for making a video. Texas Instruments TI-83 Plus. Um, I don't, that's not one of the real expensive ones, I don't think. But it definitely has some value to it. Let's see if it'll turn on these batteries fresh batteries <laughs> that might have some decent value to it i don't think it's one it's not one of those hundred dollar jobbies though maybe 30 bucks or something mm -hmm. look it up on ebay later this little wires nice little extension cord in there samsung Smartphone. It's nice. Let's see if that'll charge up for me. That's a nice little eBay gem. And then uh, what are those? Keychain. Some. 
some kind of keychain. Pack of 12 keychain thingies. I think they loop around and screw into each other. That's kind of neat. Some little doodads for hanging stuff. A little micro USB cord. Some little light bulbs. Some lighters that are all full. And then I didn't open this. So. Hey, look at that. That's neat. Shoot, I'm going to keep that for myself. I can just look, take one glance at that and know that it's never been used. That's just mint condition. Just straight from the store shelf to the garbage can. Buffalo David Bitton. These batteries were brand new. I, the package got wet, so I trashed the package. And uh, some kind of little... Some kind of little remote. What is, I wonder what that is. Response card. I'll look at eBay on that. That might have some value to it. Knives. Oh, I didn't see this. What's that? Verizon. MiFi. MiFi. I've never heard of a MiFi. I'll uh, put a charger on that and see what it does. I think that was actually one of the chargers in there for it. So. I think that's actually, this is the one for the phone. Let's keep that, like that. And then, uh, well, I don't wanna waste your time, but I'm sure, actually I think it was stuck in there when I first found it, and it came out. Anyways, uh, oh, pocket knife. Got some little doodads in here. Okay, what is it? What is that thing? Oh, there's lip moisturizer. It's brand new. I have to have that. That's not bad. That's kind of nice. Nice little items there. Some keepers and some eBayers. I always can handle fresh brand new batteries. They're always good. Light bulb, light bulb. My boobs. Okay, now this is what really, I really wanted to show you. I unzipped it in there. Like I said, glanced in here. I immediately zipped it back up and wanted to let you enjoy going through it with me. Little fan. That's a battery operated fan. O2 cool. Um, let's see what kind of battery this got in it. I wonder if it's a lithium ion. But I might have to have that for myself. That's a nice little thing. I'm pretty sure it's a heavy duty lithium ion rechargeable battery in the bottom of that. Uh, the gem is underneath here. You might catch a piece of it right there. A pair of Ray Bans. This is not what I was talking about as being the gem. But that is one nice pair of sunglasses. They're a little scuffed up uh, Ray-Bans are good of course and then gotta catch them all nice little Pokemon box with nothing in it <laughs> uh, remote control Let's see if I can find what that belongs to nice little monster AV cables I think that's a monster no it's not monster but they're nice though and then, oh, a little Bluetooth speaker. Coolig. I think that's a Bluetooth speaker. That's nice. That's a nice little gem. Here's the real gem. I was, I'll just get to it right now. There it is. Apple laptop. What do you think about that? I don't want to tease you any longer. Therapeutic pillow liners. Those are kind of interesting. Hey, that's a nice little pair of Dopper, Dockers flip-flops. Huh, lightly used. Those are not bad. Um, shoot, those are just about my size. <laughs> Ethernet cord. Uh, could it be possible? Oh, what is this? Hmm. I think that's actually a nice little pair of glasses. Oh, I really like those frames. That's a wonderful frame. Huh. 
I might have to uh, hold on to that for myself. That might be my new frames for my new prescription glasses because this that's a nice pair of frames. Just, just a wonderful feel. Huh. Have a look at those. What's in this one? Nothing. Uh, hooks. Xbox. I think that's some kind of Xbox doohickey. Uh, an adapter for something. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna hold off on scrap on this wire until I go through here and see what it might belong to. What's that? We got very, very careful. I don't know what come popping out? Some of the stuff. Hey, look at it. Um, shoot. Is that something? I don't know anything about Pokemon, but that is a like a gold bar. Wow, what is it? Let's see if it's magnetic. It's not magnetic. Hey, is that real gold plate? I wonder. I'll keep that in its case till I know what I'm dealing with. I know some of that Pokemon stuff can be real valuable. Anybody know what that is out there? Any of you Pokemon experienced, experienced Pokemon players? Pokemon? 23 karat gold plated trading card. Look at that. What do you think about that, folks? 23 karat gold plated that's not bad this pokemon special edition 22 uh 23 karat gold plated trading card has been produced to the highest standard for nintendo of america it is made from the highest quality alloy to ensure lasting value long life and beauty we suggest that it remain in the clear cover that was my thought too <laughs> in which it was delivered fingerprints and exposure to weather will cause the superb finish to tarnish uh, i just touched it a little bit didn't i number 150 mu to certificate of authenticity i know some of that stuff's real valuable so the gold is kind of irrelevant it's the actual card itself that holds value and uh sure what I'm dealing with here but I guess that's a little poking Pokemon egg or something so that's a keeper hold on to that for sure never know what you might run into this was the video I wanted to make a few days ago I made a college kid trash cash video this is Friday so it's the end of the week that's a nice little pair of Under Armour leggings this guy looks like he's about my size too. Maybe a little, but those are stretchable though. I'm gonna have to have to try those on. Stuff's looking like it's unused almost. What size is he? Large. Oh, that's large. That's weird. Men's large. Mine doesn't have the waist size. Anyways, they look like they fit me. Those would be some nice little work shorts right there. Medium. That's a big medium. Okay, now we're cooking. Hey, this is some nice stuff. Under Armors. I'm going to throw this through the laundromat and see if that's going to fit me. It's good quality clothing. A uh -oh, wallet. That's a wallet. I wonder if he's got any gift cards in here. Driver's license. He's even got the same first name as me. Two driver's license in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a free one night DVD rental from Redbox. I'm gonna have to have that. I guess that's actually expired. 2016 it says. Sometimes people will get these gift gift cards for birthday or Christmas for 50 bucks 25 bucks and they'll just end up in the garbage but uh that's kind of wet that's 
a neat little t-shirt what does that say make some noise that's one of those deals you can read from a long ways away and up close you're not sure what it says have that a pair of wet long johns um those are actually kind of nice everything's damp though the rain went through this bag a little bit another little wallet someone might want that in the free tail store j5 creative there's a little thumb drive Gotta be careful throwing your stuff away, people. Wrong person come through and get a hold of this, your personal information like that. I mean, driver's license and thumb drives and your computer with who knows what's on it, you know? I mean, <laughs> not everyone that goes in the garbage, not everyone that scavenges is gonna be a friendly person. That's brand new, that's totally full. SBF 50 copper tone. Okay, that's some kind of cargo netting type stuff. Rope, some kind of rope. Look at that, that thing's got a magnet in it. I've never noticed the laptop be magnetic. Must be a magnetic closing closure device to keep it sealed. It's kind of neat, huh? Last, but definitely not least. There it is. Oh boy, that's nice. Little MacBook. I didn't realize these had a magnetic closure on them. That's really nice. I like that magnetic closure stuff. It keeps it from coming open on its own and flopping around. It probably helps not damage the thing. Um, looks like looks like it's in wonderful condition. It needs to be charged. I wouldn't be surprised if the adapter is here somewhere. But uh I may look into using that for myself if it's not correct. No, the screen is nice. The screen looks to be sound. I may have to uh, see if this is in working condition. It might be my new laptop there. I like Chromebooks, but. I'm not sure how old this one is. I think that's a high quality, expensive computer. I'll have to look it up on eBay here in a minute. It's in wonderful condition. It just needs to be wiped off. Um, let's see. There's no model number or anything. Just Apple MacBook. Um, only one button even has any discoloration on it. This thing looks like it's hardly been touched. You know what I mean? I mean, there's no really no signs of use almost at all except for the F button anyways I guess this turned out to be a video all on its own what I'll do is I'll make a part two to this video tonight if the rain holds off it's really clearing up nice it looks like and uh, I'll go back down to the area and I'll start in the same spot where I found this where my battery died and uh, so that's gonna be part two. It'll be my next video I publish. I hope you enjoyed this one. That's a real gem. Whether I use it or sell it or whatever. That might be an auction item for my live stream or something. Let's see how it goes. Anyways, now I gotta clean this mess up. <laughs> there was a lot of stuff in there, huh? Well, hope you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching.